In this modern day and age, technology has not only helped simplify our daily tasks, but it has also created opportunities we did not know we needed. Unfortunately, it also paved the way in creating a new medium for bullying. Loosely defined as using electronic communication to abuse someone by sending messages of a threatening nature, cyberbullying is a growing concern affecting over 33% of children and youth across Ontario. Cyberbullying is a form of social injustice which is unfair activity caused by a persecutor with the intention to oppress, overpower, and discourage others. Cyberbullying comes in many forms. Flaming is the electronic communication of angry or rude messages, and deflammation consists of saying put-downs or spreading cruel rumors. Harassment is repeatedly sending insulting or threatening messages, while cyberstalking involves threats of harm or intimidation. Although it could happen to anyone, it is most commonly seen among 10 to 18 year old teens. As much as 90% of children in grades 4 through 8 have been bullied at some point. As social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram have become communication hubs for adolescents, it has led to an increase in cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is a commonly used form of abuse, as 81% of teens think bullying online is easier to get away with than bullying in person. Over 1 in 4 adolescents have been bullied repeatedly before, and merely 1 in 10 victims will inform a parent or a trusted adult. Bullying is a steadily increasing trend and an ongoing form of social injustice. Facts show that there is a strong connection between cyberbullying and mental health. Many teenagers are experiencing high levels of depression, anxiety, psychosomatic symptoms, and critically low self-esteem. This can ultimately increase suicidal behavior. In fact, cyberbullying victims are two to nine times more likely to consider committing suicide. Unfortunately, in the last decade, there has been many high-profile cyberbullying cases. For example, the famous 2012 Amanda Todd case that took place in British Columbia. At age 15, Amanda Todd experienced severe injustice through bullying both online and off. She posted a video prior to taking her life on YouTube explaining her experience through verbal abuse and harassment on many social media platforms. While this is just one example of cyberbullying, this behavior is seen happening every day in our own neighborhood. Hyper-networking teens are those who spend more than three hours per school day on online social networks and are 110% more likely to be a victim of cyberbullying as compared to those who don't spend as much time on social networks. Now, how do we put an end to this? There are several ways to deter students from cyberbullying. One, educate. Develop programs to educate students on the negative effects of cyberbullying. Invite police officers to come into classrooms and explain the consequences of this injustice. Talk and be open with the effects of cyberbullying. Two, take action. Take on extracurricular activities and or hobbies to improve social skills and connectedness with others. Parents and staff need to take an active role in students' social life and possible cyberbullying. Set up anonymous phone lines to report bullying online. Three, awareness. Build awareness and discourage harmful celebrity gossip as they tend to justify the act of spreading rumors. Parents should be aware of the possible consequences of social media. Make it a serious offense. 53% of kids admit to having said something mean or hurtful to another person online. And 90% of teens who have seen social media bullying said they have ignored it. Be the change. Take action. And delete cyberbullying out of your life. Created using Powtoon.